Konnichiwa minasan, it's Amichita from the Dream Seekers again and welcome to yet another manga review. Today's all about Kitchen Princess or as you say in Japanese Kitchen no Ohime sama which was written by Miyuki Kobayashi and illustrated by Natsumi Ando. This manga was serialized in the manga magazine Nakayoshi from September 2004 to October 2008. It was made to 10 volumes of a manga from 2005 to 2008 and the genre of this manga is yet again shoujo romance and it's also entitled drama and cooking but believe me when I say it's all about the love. Yet again, it's um, also entitled 13 plus, so please consider this a not chat friendly video. I have no idea why, because there is nothing happening, but okay. Um, please ask your parents first if you want to see this video, although we just don't say anything here, but we support something that's uh, for people over 13, so please respect our fears. And please ask your parents first if you want to read this manga. And, of course, you have to support the creators of this manga, so please just buy this manga series, because it's very great. The story is all about Najika Kazumi, a 13-year-old girl who is warm-hearted and cheerful all day, even though her parents died when she was very, very little. So, she was sent into an orphanage in Hokkaido directly after her parents' death. Najika was very sad and lonely during that time. She didn't even make the pastries her parents taught her. One day, while feeling grievy, Najika ran away from the orphanage and after running around in circles all the time, she found a river. A river. Trigger warning. Najika tried to <coughs> That was the only solution for her to finally see her parents again. And with only that thought in mind, she jumped straight into her doom. Thinking that she already lost consciousness, Nachika got carried away by the floods of the river. But out of nowhere, a young boy also jumped into the river and tried to rescue her. Gladly, successfully. After dragging her out of the river, Nachika cried for a very long time, begging to be with her parents again. But the boy simply just gave her a phlegm, like a cream brulee, with a silver spoon. Nachika ate it. And she was happy again. And then the boy just meant that Nachika's parents sure want her to be as happy as she is right now, eating all kinds of sweets in the world. And then he went away. And Nachika promised to him and to herself that she will become the best pastries in the world to make it up to him and give him the best flan in the whole world. So Nachika put these sentences by heart and made this her life goal. She begged at her heart's content and tried to make everyone around her happy with her sweets. And even after all the time, she still thinks back to that fateful day when her flan prince saved her life. One day while searching for her so-called prince, Nachika found something very interesting about the mysterious silver spoon's origin. It belongs to the Seika Academy in Tokyo. Yeah! <laughs> What you guys think a uh, naive and totally overly joyful girl would do? <laughs> yes, she would try to attend that academy. And yes, she actually got accepted. <laughs> but <laughs> she got accepted into a special class. And so Nachika just found out after she arrives at that academy that everyone in her class has either rich parents or a freaking talent being ultimates and Danganronpa stuff. Even though she wasn't really accepted by her classmates, Nachika didn't give up. She even managed to befriend the headmaster's sons. Sora Kitazawa being the older one and inheriting the family business and Taichi Kitazawa being the younger brother. Both of them might have some interest in Nachika but they are showing their feelings in their own special kind of ways. But Nachika can't 
think of no one else than her precious, beloved Flan Prince. So, Nachika isn't only on her search for the anonymous Flan Prince. Additionally, she needs to prove herself and her classmates that she has a talent on her own. Which would be the amazing baking skill, hopefully. But yeah, she has to prove that first. On top of that, she has to overcome her sadness, being far away from her friends, from the orphanage in Hokkaido. And also, uh, she gets badmouthed by Akane Kishida as well. Akane is a young top model at the age of 13 who immediately got jealous of Nachika because Sora showed interest in the new girl and not Akane anymore. Nachika has a lot to take in on her journey to find her flan prince. Will she eventually find him? Or will she get distracted by the handsome two boys she's now friends with? Just buy the manga and you'll get the answer! <laughs> Finally, we arrived at the third part of the manga review. <laughs> the details, likes and dislikes. I personally am a great fan of this story. I totally adore the development. Even though it sounds childish at a few little times and points in the story. And um, it's very easy written so any child could understand what's going on exactly. And if you are in my age or at least over 15 or something, you may think, ugh, such childish teenage problems. But yeah, I guess this is somehow the charm of this manga. The character design is sweet. It is typical Jojo, so I guess I don't really have to say anything else about it. What I also adore in this manga would be the art style. It perfectly fits the storyline and the Jojo genre and what it should present. The lineup is kind of great, but the details on the pastries and the cloths are amazing. You totally get hungry and want to eat those sweets while reading this. So before reading this manga, guys, you definitely have to stock up your sweets. <laughs> Go ahead and buy something. <laughs> you have to have a chocolate bar around you. <laughs> you need it. Believe me. The only thing I dislike is bad mouthing about Najika. And only because I hate those people. <laughs> I hate those kind of people who always have to push themselves by making a shit song about other people, but that's my personal opinion. Now let's head straight into the results of this manga rating. I give this manga series a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I personally think this manga is nearly perfect. There might be something missing here. I can't really quite describe it in the right terms. It might be a little bit too childish or even a little bit too long at the end for my taste. But even so, I love the idea of the storyline and I'd fully support this manga series. I can gladly tell you guys that there is even a light novel of this manga series. I haven't read it yet, but I'd be glad to do so, and I'd be glad to do a manga review out of it, or a light novel review out of it. Just tell me down in the comments down below. Do it. Just do it and say do it. <laughs> and that would be it for today's manga review again. Be sure to hit the thumbs up if you like this video, and write down in the comments down below what you like most about this manga. And yet again, this manga is called Kitchen Princess, or in Japanese, Kitchen no Ohime Sama. It is written by Miyuki Kobayashi and drawn by Natsumi Ando. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be reminded if another dance cover or in current situations uh, another manga review is out. Sorry for keeping you waiting on this manga, but be sure to see two manga reviews in the next week. See you soon and don't forget to keep your dreams alive. Dream seek as oh, we will keep them in our hearts. Doki doki.